going to Japan and finding a wifey or like dating a Japanese girl, it will give you that kind of like standard that you're looking for, you know, and after that you won't go anything below that because you realize that you Superman and in the West you've been treated like Clark Kent, right? Whereas in Japan, people treat you like Superman and you realize that you with the kryptonite bitches in the West, right? That keep you from being Superman. Hey, what's up? It's your boy Jozo. And today I'm out here with another video. And this video is regarding why every guy should find himself a Japanese wife or Japanese girlfriend because there's certain things that you know there's differences that you will notice in Japanese women that make you in a way that surprise you but you realize after time it shouldn't really surprise you right so in this video, I'm going to compare Western women with Japanese women. And don't get me wrong, I love black women, I love white women, but there are certain things about Japanese waifus which they do better. Number one. So the first thing you will notice when you go to Japan is that the women there are just like more feminine and submissive, you know? And first, it's like you get there, you get a girl and you kind of like have your guard up because in, in the West, they always want to show that they're better than men, they can do the same as men. But for some reason in Japan, it's, it's not like that, you know? And you will be surprised. They want to show you that there can be like a wifey material, you know, and that is what they pride themselves on, right? Whereas in the West, they pride themselves on do being able to do the same thing that men can do, you know, not needing a man. I don't need a man. I can do everything myself. My baby daddy is an asshole because, you know, like that kind of attitude and in a way it makes you you know once you when you there when you in 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 like with a like a western woman you don't really realize it because you grew up with it but once you see the difference you realize that it makes you you realize that that is not the way do you know what i'm saying um clearly there's some, and then let me give an example the first time I, I realized it, I was carrying like, um, it was really hot and I had a jumper and I was walking around Tokyo with my Japanese wife or girlfriend and she took my jumper without me actually asking her and I said, like, what do you need my, and I was, I'm so programmed to carry my own shit and like do my things myself where I was surprised like, well, what do you need my jumper for? I was like, oh no, I'm just carrying it for you. And I was thinking like, holy shit, like I... I never expected it, even though it's supposed to be like that, you know, she should like serve you and like admire you and, you know, like help you wherever she can, right? In, compar in comparison, you know, the white girls, especially, they, they, they want you to open the door for them. They want you to serve them. They want you to do everything for them. And in the end of the day, they basically they expect it and it's like if you compare the two of them you realize that one side is not really helping you do you understand what i mean like one side is not making you feel like one side is making you feel like a man whereas the other side is making you feel like you are taken for granted and again, you will not notice and you will not realize it unless you actually experience the difference. Number two, education. Um, while 
a lot of Japanese women tend to be very educated, just like the West. They go about it the ro- like the diff- a different way, right? Um, you'll find that a lot of them pretend to be stupid when they're not. And you would ask yourself, why would you want to pretend to be stupid? Huh, you will ask yourself, and I'll tell you why. A lot of Japanese women tend to associate being smart as and knowing everything better as masculine and they want to be feminine and they want to please you as a man so they will try and be even even if they might not you know they're trying to make themselves a little bit more stupid than you so you feel like a man and you will start liking them more whereas the white girls i trust me I had one white girl um, in college and I went to like an Ivy League school, um, very, very prestigious school and my girlfriend, she was very intelligent. Honestly, she was like, if not more smarter than me, like smarter than me, she prided herself in being better than me, like trying to emasculate me intellectually, you know, just keeping challenging me and she tested me and i realized it's fun at the beginning you know you have an educated woman that you know you can shoot the shit with but over time it kind of wears on you you're always on your guard you know you're always fighting for the spot of being the man otherwise she will take it you get what i'm saying now imagine you know like i'm giving like a like a primitive example you're a hunter right you go out you go and hunt the lions, you hunt the antelopes, you go and, you know, and people in your crew, you know, like the man, they're always trying to challenge you for the higher spot, but you always have to prove yourself to be like the alpha male, you know, to be able to like control the group, right? Then you come after a hard day, right? Not only are you being chased by a lion, challenged by your crew members that want to take your spot, you go home, you want to rest, and all of a sudden, your white woman, your Karen, is like waiting there for you. Trying to challenge you when you're down. You know, you don't need it. You want a Japanese waifu that will support you and do everything. Has cooked, cleaned, you know, sucked your dick. Do you know what I mean? To make you ready for the next day. Do you know what I'm saying? So, in a way, going to Japan has really changed my relationship dynamics in a way. You know, three appearance in the West, and even for me in the West, it's very, very hard to catch someone decent, right? It was very difficult, you know, like because there's so many, like, there's like no incentive for women to look after themselves, right? Like, I'm not hating on them because I still love big, voluptuous women. But because everybody is after them, to, comp- to have, like, good-looking women, like, it's so hard that average lo- you will do with average-looking women. Because otherwise, you won't get any, you know? So, there's no incentive for them to look after themselves. Because you take what you can get because it's already so hard in the first place, right? But in Japan... There's not many men around that, you know, can look after girls. So every single girl is trying to look top notch. You get what I'm saying? Every single girl is trying to look her best to compete for you, right? So there's always that incentive of like, oh my God, there's not enough men around. So let me be as feminine, as attractive as possible so that I can keep or get him, like I can keep my man. And in that way... You don't have to worry about dealing with attitude. You don't have to worry about with like stretch marks. You don't have to worry about like carrots. Do you understand what I mean? Um, yeah, you don't. And you don't because they are always on edge. It's like, oh my God, if I don't do well, um, where, where else will I find a man like this, right? Whereas in the Western society, I can get a guy anyway, better than him. Even though I don't look after myself, I'll get a guy anytime. So there's no incentive for me to look after myself or to respect my man in the first place, right? And that was like another 
um, hit home because in Japan it's really easy to get the girls it's, and attractive ones too you know and they're so cute they always want to be by our side and I want to you know like they ch it's like they admire you you know like they're like your fan you know like they're like your fan like you are like the fan like they're like your fan whereas in the west it's like the other way around because there's so many guys with online dating and stuff and i think partly the reason why it is is because japanese women they don't really get good japanese guys because they tend to be like pussies and if they get a foreigner which is very rare then they find a way to cherish the, the foreigner you know so that's my experience Um, lastly, I would say mating and um, with Japanese girls. I've never had a Japanese girl say no to me Like my sugar mama. She was cooking. I made a move No problem. She was like literally just about to hop into shower I touch her titties, right and she would like change her plans, you know, like she would sacrifice herself for me in a way like she would stop what she's doing just to please me in the way, you know um so i don't know man like i personally like black girls i personally like white women but i can see the appeal with like japanese women because they know how to be women they're not sabotaged or manipulated by um media or what their friends think uh, by media or the current trend you know and that's why if you may be like an incel if you like a little bit more reserved going to japan and finding a wifey or like dating a japanese girl it will give you that kind of like standard that you're looking for you know and after that you won't go anything below that because you realize that you superman and in the west you've been treated like clark kent right whereas in japan people treat you like superman and you realize that you with the kryptonite bitches in the west right that keep you from being superman right but after you have visited and experienced what's up right you realize you're superman and even if you go back and experience like like encounter the the kryptonite bitches right it doesn't really affect you because you know who you are 